What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about a massive reveal for the next big map in Modern Warfare 2. Some teasers that have been right in front of us this entire time plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like and let me know down below in the comment section what are you guys doing for the holidays today and I want to wish everybody out there a Merry Christmas for anybody out there that is celebrating. Also want to thank everybody for their immense support over in 2022 here on the channel or even longer than that if you found my channel before this past year. But seriously I can't wait to see what 2023 has in store for all of us out there in the world but what if i told you that another massive map is already on deck almost ready to go for modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 not just the battle royale map but a big space that will be converted without a doubt into more ground war maps and even 6v6 experiences so people out there already pointed out that this exact map could be found over in the campaign which could in fact be the tech map for the next warzone 2 experience it's los almas of course and there are plenty of spaces already in modern warfare 2 that take place in this area and many more from the campaign which could probably be seen in a battle royale map as well so it's not totally out of the question but don't take it as fact that this map is just exactly what the attack map is going to look like for the next warzone 2 map but it just makes sense that since there's so many assets in the game already for mexico that they can easily turn all those spaces into one giant battle royale experience now what's really interesting about this is that almazra just came out in november so you'd probably be wondering well how could they get another big space done so soon well i don't think the map is coming out in season two or anything but i definitely think by mid season three or maybe even early season four this map could in fact release to kind of round up the warzone 2 life cycle for modern warfare 2 specifically we'll get more into what that means later in this video but we have the usual suspects out there on twitter who do data mine early content for call of duty they are claiming that these are going to be the locations in a mexico warzone 2 map we have mill amazon Porto, Mall, Baseball, Storage, Narcos, Favela, yes, you heard that right, uh, Nogales, Boardwalk, Historic, Prison, compound power plants and even airstrip once again if we do get a mexico warzone 2 map these might not be the final names for all the points of interest but as of right now these are placeholder names for some of those points of interest but you never know those could be the final names altogether we'll just have to wait and see but the fact that these points of interest were found and the fact that these are not at all in almazra and couldn't even work in almazra if they wanted to add those in just has me thinking that either a big map has been scrapped or a big map is in development that people out there probably are Already predicted was going to be added considering how many big spaces we already had to take place over in Mexico and this is crazy news so what this first off confirms for me is that the favela remastered rumors check out I mean we've been hearing about a favela remaster since before Modern Warfare 2 even got revealed we had gaming insiders claiming that we were going to see maps like terminal afghan quarry rust even favela all returning inside of Modern Warfare 2 but then that kind of got shifted a little bit into the next rumor which came out that claims that we're going to be getting a greatest hits like map pack in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer that does feature Favela and nearly all maps from MW2 2009. So now that we're hearing Favela could be in this Mexico Warzone map, now it makes sense. Maybe this is the only way Favela does come back in the new Modern Warfare, or it comes out in a Warzone map first, then gets added to multiplayer later, whether it's in a year two expansion map pack, whether it's in some greatest hits pack that comes out at any point, whether it's part of some 2023 Call of Duty anniversary game that features a remastered multiplayer that literally literally has a bunch of maps from the catalog of Treyarch, Infinity Ward, even Sledgehammer. Lots of possibilities with how that could make sense, but we already know Almazra has several remakes in the map itself already, like Terminal, Afghan, Storm, even Quarry. Maps that, like I said, were rumored alongside Favela long before Modern Warfare 2 even got revealed. So now that we've seen that happen, we have plenty of remasters in that map alone. It's not out of the question that Favela could be part of this Mexico Warzone 2 map. And where does Favela take place? In Mexico. Now, like I said earlier, there are plenty of ground war spaces and a lot of areas from campaign which do take place in Las Almas and what do you guys know the new version of Shoot House is also in Las Almas so I do think it's highly possible Shoot House is also a part of one of the points of interest that we get in this next Warzone 2 experience and I know you guys probably are frustrated with the idea that we're just going to be seeing development put into these big Warzone spaces then all the multiplayer maps we get will just be cut out from those battle royale areas 
I get why that might frustrate you. I really do. But also keep in mind, there are plenty of areas from even campaign that have not been seen at all in multiplayer Warzone or even Spec Ops. And look at the first episode of Raid, for example, Adam Grad. That is a completely new space that we don't have in any other game mode. So definitely keep your hopes up for other new spaces to be added that aren't from Battle Royale maps. Don't worry about that. But I think Shoe House being in Las Almas is a teaser that's been sitting right in front of us. Kind of similar to how Shipment was also featured in Almazra from day one. And that got added to multiplayer way after the release of that Battle Royale map. So I think Favela being added to the Las Almas Battle Royale map before it gets added into multiplayer is very, very likely. Now here's the thing, right? This is completely separate from the recent leak that came out that a resurgence Warzone 2 map is headed to the game in probably season two. An image did pop up somehow on the internet, which obviously got DMCA claimed. I can't show you on screen for obvious reasons, but the image does confirm up to 50 players will be on this map. It's kind of the sequel to Rebirth Island in a way, and it will feature not only Battle Royale Resurgence, but also Ground War, and then it will have DMZ offered on it as well. So that map is probably going to come out first, if I had to guess. It looks like the map itself is pretty far in development, and I think it makes sense to drop that map first, then this Big Lost Almost Battle Royale map later on in 2023. But along with the tech map leak for the Resurgence map, we obviously got concept art that leaked out for Season 2, which does confirm a castle of some sort is returning into Modern Warfare 2, and it's not exactly the castle we remember from World at War or the remaster we got in Vanguard. I think it's just a castle, but it does resemble the castle we know and love, hence why people out there are saying that the remastering castle yet again for Modern Warfare 2. I just think what it is is this, right? We see a castle in the concept art. We also see a castle point of interest in the Resurgence map leak, so I think castle will just end up being a part or the center of the Resurgence map, which might also offer some ground war options at some point in the future, but it's not going to be a map that we end up seeing in 6v6, at least not from what I can interpret from this. But what's interesting about this is that if you actually go out of the map on Almazra, people out there have done this using different spectating glitches or other tools. You could actually see an island in the distance, which may in fact be the Resurgence map. It wouldn't be out of the question to be able to see the Resurgence map from Almazra if they're so heavily connected. And there is a castle that you can see on that island, which kind of lines up with the fact that a castle is coming to Warzone 2 in the form of a Resurgence map. But the thing about this that doesn't really make sense, and the flaw to this theory is that the vibes that we're getting from the concept art leak or the Resurgence map leak is that it's going to be a heavily Japanese-inspired season, and the Resurgence map likely also takes place in Japan, whereas Almazra does not, so it wouldn't really make sense for that map to be right next to Almazra if it does take place in Japan, but let me know how you feel about that down below. But here's what I think is going on. I think right now Activision has a goal of getting out as many Battle Royale maps as possible in the shortest time span possible, and I guess the way they make that work is having different developers work on different maps. They had Infinity War tackle Almazra, and now Raven is kind of taking over the post-launch support for that map, while somebody out there is working on the Resurgence map. It could be Toys R Ba, Binox, High Moon Studios, and then we have this Las Almas map, which I don't think will take that long to make, considering a lot of the assets are already in the game, like I said, whereas Almazra was done from scratch. So with that goal in mind, I do think to kind of round up year one of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, they'll have this Las Almas map drop. Maybe if Modern Warfare 2 is a five season game, they'll have that map drop in like late season three, early season four, maybe even in season five for all we know. And then for a year two or whatever is happening in 2023, then you end up seeing a completely different map from the ground up added to Warzone 2.0 that has completely different assets that are not in Modern Warfare 2 already. And that might take a long time to build. Hence, why they want to get out some other BR maps in the meantime that use existing assets that we already have right now through campaign, multiplayer, even spec ops. But you never know. If Modern Warfare 2 is a two-year game, maybe the Las Almas Mexico map is what they release right away when year two begins, if that's the case. But like I mentioned in several videos already, I do think the year two rumors have been heavily misinterpreted by gaming insiders. And I think that even they don't really understand what Call of Duty is going to bring to the table in 2023. But then you look at something we've talked about in other videos, right? It's confirming a Treyarch job listing that they're also working on a Warzone 2 map that will be used for Outbreak 2.0. So that'll end up being the big drop that probably releases right after Black Ops 2024, probably with the start of Season 1 for that game. So there are a lot of maps in development already for Warzone 2, far more than what we got for Warzone 1, which is crazy. And yeah, I do appreciate that Fortune's Keep got added as like a surprise drop in Season 4 of Vanguard's life cycle. That's great, but at least seeing two new BR maps a year is going to be great for the community out there. And I do think there is a very specific 
schedule that we don't know much about yet, but is one that we can pretty much interpret from what's been released so far. They want to end up releasing the Resurgence map right in between the launches of Almazra and then this Las Almas map to make sure that the Warzone 2 community stays as fresh as possible. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this massive reveal for the next big space in Mono Warfare 2 and Warzone 2? How are you feeling about a Mexico Battle Royale map and everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.